Welcome to the Sushi Forum Week 96. Each week we look at proposals that are on the Sushi Discourse Forum on Snapshot or have already passed the voting process. This is an open community call, so everyone is welcome to join us up on stage anytime. We also have the AMA Text Questions channel available for those who wish to engage via text. As always, joined by our super co-host, Zappuccini. Now this is financial advice. Please do your own research. We merged. We merged. We did it. Yes. Success. Yeah, yesterday was the merge. Yes. Yes. Big uh big moment in Ethereum history, just you know, several years in the making. Finally, we did it. We did it. So yeah. Um I don't know. I don't think anybody was really too affected user wise, I hope. Um did do we have like was there any use like edge cases where somebody tried to make a transaction at the time of the merge and it didn't work out or something like this? Is is anybody heard of that? No. I didn't I didn't see anything in here about anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was like good timing so that like a you know, bunch of people were still probably either asleep. Anybody that was like trying to do crazy things maybe was sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I saw the surge in gas in gas costs right before it uh right before it happened. So people definitely made their moves. Mm, mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah, uh, I wonder. I'll look a little bit more around about that. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, I see. Jiro did a couple swaps right after it switched. Yeah, I did too. I did it just to make sure that, like, oh, does this still exist? Does this still work? <laughs> do the numbers still change? Yes, they do. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems to be working well. Uh, I've heard that the block times are even like a slight bit faster. This was be 12 seconds instead of like 13 averaging. Oh, uh-huh. so that's, I guess, a bonus. So that's cool. Um, yeah, and just like now the whole, you know, boiling ocean narrative is, uh, can slowly go away. We are not, bo- we are not boiling the oceans anymore. Leave us alone. And graphics cards are once again affordable for everybody. Oh yes, like I might buy a thirty eighty. You know, dude. Yeah, dude, they're hundreds, hundreds of dollars on. Like my buddy was telling me, at least like four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars off on some of the Nvidia products he works over there. Oh yeah, damn, damn. So maybe I'll uh, ape into one of those or find some, you know. Soon enough, there's going to be a bunch of those on the market. Just buy like two used ones that were, you know, from a miner that are just like, you know, half wrecked. And then when one blows up, you just put the other one back in and off you go. But at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know, unless if you're like a hardcore gamer, you're probably not going to blow them all up. But maybe they're, they're getting pretty good, man. I <laughs> honestly, sometimes I'm like, why, why even overclock? Yeah, I do nothing that crazy. Yeah, but if you're like rendering a whole movie or something, yeah, I understand. You got to get that M1, you know, that Pro Mac with the uh, one and a half terabytes of RAM and yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> things are going crazy. Uh, Sixty nine hundred X's that those are insane. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, regardless, a successful merge. Um, everyone is. Uh, yeah, should be all Gucci then. Uh, if there's been any, yeah, I'm glad to hear there hasn't been any issues or reports of like problems and everything's just like ticking along as it was and just into this new, the new proof of stake adventure. Um, yeah, uh, of course, if any issues, you know, reach out to Samurai, open a ticket, uh, however you need to, just to keep, uh, yeah, hopefully everything keeps going groovy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So up on Snapshot, we've got um, the Head Chef finale timeline. Um, yeah, so just to kind of break that all down, it was just uh, after the uh, Head Chef search here, uh, having an open mic, uh, having that open mic session is concluded, and we've got five candidates here. And so just kind of breaking through the schedule here and everything. Uh, and for anyone who uh, isn't uh, doesn't know here yet, but we've got uh, five finalists here uh so far we've got uh, kenneth hurley jared gray jared cohen paul walton and andy foreman so i think a bunch of you are in here today already as well 
So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, thanks for hopping in and being here today. But, um, yeah, this week we're just, uh, yeah, getting ready for all of that. Let this, uh, let this vote come through. Um, so yeah, if you haven't voted already, uh, please do, um, you know, I guess you'll be voting on the proof of stake network. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think there should be any issues there, of course, because it's all been captured ahead of time. Um, yeah, so that's, uh. Yeah, that'll be uh, up and coming next week. We're going to have, uh, yeah, we'll be having like a, a bigger kind of um, episode where we'll be having, uh, yeah, all of the head chefs uh, come on here and, and really break it down. So uh, really, uh, it's going to be a, a bigger one next week. So uh, hopefully everyone is prepared for that. And uh, yeah, don't miss that one. There'll be some great content in there. Uh, we're really looking forward to chatting with everyone. So, yeah, yeah, that will be wicked. That will be wicked. And let's see here. We've got, um, yeah, with one of these uh, other, like, latest proposals here as well, um, just something that came up here with uh, CBR and the Head Chef's introduction so far. Um, so, yeah, this uh, from, from Web3 Connector. Yeah, just how they had, um, yeah, CB Recruitment provides top-tier Web3 uh, talent by leveraging our contacts in the web3 space uh, we've worked with many notable projects like ftx uh, yeah to provide best candidates so basically um yeah um they are uh yeah they have it's just a like, finder's fee yeah they're it's just like, like look, mm-hmm, yeah just looking to put out a finder's p fee here um yeah so basically uh yeah, they've uh, they've brought forth um, Paul Walton and Jared. Which Jared is it here? Sorry, uh, when I click on it, it gives me an error, so I can't remember. It's... Well, that's the old one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty sure it was uh, Jared Gray. Yeah. Jared Gray. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, basically, if either uh, either one of those um, uh, either one of those candidates is selected. Uh, there would be a uh, 30% uh, finder's fee. So, um, yeah, it's something that we should just bring up with the community and see, uh, get kind of the, the feel around that. Uh, you know, probably would have been great to have had that ahead of time uh, rather than, than afterwards. But, um, yeah, just curious with, uh, uh, yeah. Um, there might be some point contention in the fact that it's 30% on top. Yeah. Of, uh, but um i know uh you guys were saying you'd be willing to make a few diplomatic gestures uh with withdrawing the severance package i saw that in there mm-hmm. yeah so um it's just yeah. something that everybody should know for sure um, I'm sure some people probably wouldn't be happy to hear that after the fact, after everything's all been sorted out. Yeah. And I don't want it to be like, uh, you know, people to think like, oh, well, you know, we got to vote differently because of this or anything like that. Like, obviously we want to have the best candidate come forward and, or, you know, be the one that's presented and, and, uh, you know, to be, to become head chef. But, uh, yeah, just, I don't, you know don't want to see any issues with that and just curious you know if anyone else has got further thoughts around it here or comments about you know finders fee or if they've dealt with finders fees in the past uh it's not it's not something i'm familiar with like i've never really been a part of a you know finder fee referral type program or anything but um yeah just, I mean, uh, recruitment agencies got to make money somehow yeah that's right that's Get right it. yeah of course of course oh. but jared hey guys Hey, hey, yeah, no, we got you here. But yeah, uh, yeah, maybe you can kind of fill us in here. Obviously, that's, uh, yeah, CBR had uh, brought you ahead here. So um, yeah, a little bit of, uh, if you've got some stuff to share on that, that would be great. Yeah, I mean, I'm not part of CBR. I was just referred to them from a colleague who worked with me on the Bitfinian Exchange um, at his last company. And he's now like, I forget which head of the department at Coin Bureau, um, but when I, I think he heard through a colleague of ours that I, you know I was on the market again, looking for an executive position, and he connected me 
with Jay, who is the recruiter from CBR, and told me about the uh, opportunities you guys have here at Sushi. And um, yeah, I reached out and, and I guess sent over my CV and a couple of recommendation letters and we started chatting. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, the process for executive recruitment that they follow is pretty standard. I mean, there are whole companies like theirs. I mean, theirs is a division of a large company, Coin Bureau, which has like two mil- two and a half million followers on on YouTube, I think. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, they're a big company, and uh, this is one of their arms. But you know, there are executive headhunter firms that focus just. I mean, their entire business model is out is on going out and finding executive leadership, and you know they. They the industry standard is between twenty five and thirty five percent for what they find. So I don't I don't want people to be shocked about it. Um, as far as like the candidates, Paul and I are both candidates that were recruited from CBR. Um, but you should definitely voice your opinion on the proposal. It is a proposal, so that is something that CBR will have to uh, defend and negotiate with the community. Mm-hmm. Um build their value for the service that they provide. And you guys for sure should, as a community, ask them and, and debate them um, about the process, you know, dig deeper because a lot of people aren't familiar with it. But I think, uh, you know, I did, I, I did ping Jay at the beginning of this call, just saying, Hey, you know, you guys are having another AMA or the weekly um, forum stage to to jump on here and, and take over but I, I didn't want it to be this like um mysterious thing you know mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty standard like the the regular executive uh hiring process because it's i mean it would be impossible for me to know all the opportunities that exist um in whatever industry that i would be an executive or anyone else right and so you do rely on these firms that are these centralized repos of of opportunities or, or, mm, or mm, sure. looking, you know? Yep. Yep. yep, yep. You guys in the chat are savage. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> oh, hello, Jamzy. Hey, Jamzy. Jamzy. Oh, uh, maybe some oh. mic issues. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sorry. It's push to talk. I need to change that setting. Um, yeah. yeah. So thanks for letting me jump on. I really appreciate you. Um, let me know, Jared. Um, like I say, if anyone's got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. I, you know, we don't want this to be a closed process. And um, I know that we'd rather have been involved a little bit earlier to kind of get this sort of in the thing, but we are where we are and we, we're happy to take questions or um, to answer anything that you guys want to ask. So please do reach out on, on Discord or on the forum. I'm more than happy to answer. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, and I mean, like, with, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, finder's fees and things like this, very, uh, you know, very typical within, you know, traditional companies and whatnot. But, um, yeah, just, like, you know, with within Web3 and DeFi, maybe it's not as... You know, maybe people may not be as familiar with this, but I mean, obviously, uh, you know, with, with this kind of, uh, with anything like this, I think it's going to have to go to a, like a governance vote for this sort of thing. So obviously we've got a, you know, this proposal here would, uh, would suffice. We can put a poll in there or something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, to, and maybe we wanted to have like some different percentages on this. So like obviously 30%, um, you know, maybe the community is fine with that. And if they're, uh, you know, uh, happy with, um, happy with like, uh, you know, the, the fee around that. Cause if it's, uh, let's see. Yeah. So yeah, we're going with 500 case. So it was, uh, 30% being like a hundred and I guess it'd be a little more than 150. Correct. It'd be like a hundred. Yeah, I mean, we're not 333 divided by two. Right. Or yeah. We we probably look at base package or base salary, like or we're not monsters, you know. If there's a suggestion or a proposal that we can work with the sushi team to help to hire in the future, again, we're happy to talk about it. But mm-hmm. we're not looking to take over the Dow governance scheme at all. You guys still have full full control over that. Like we love the process. We love this. It's I've, it's a really 
interesting way to recruit. I've described it to a number of people that I've spoken to, like a presidential campaign. And, you know, at the end of the day, we got involved in this process because we want Sushi to grow and to have the best people in the world leading the team. And that's ultimately what we want. And that's the ultimate outcome. You know, of course, as a service, we hope to be remunerated for what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And the Web3 world is one of the most understaffed and um, difficult to transition things. You know, people have been doing this since 2011, but though most of the people in the space have that have done it for more than seven or eight years have set up their own businesses. So the actual candidate market gap is about two to three years most of the time. Um, we hopefully have brought some great people with a lot more experience than that to the table that we feel can really add value to Sushi, and we hope that people can see that. So um, I'm, I don't want to take over from Jared because I know this is you know part of your AMA. So maybe if, if you want, I can jump on a further AMA later on, and if anyone wants to directly ask me questions or if you want to open up the entire stage, then more than happy to do that later on. But I definitely don't want to take away from Jared's time here. Yeah, no, and that's all right. Like today was, uh, we did want to touch on this proposal, of course, and that was uh, you know kind of a, a main focus. So I'm glad that you're here to be able to, to chat about this and and kind of like share with the community so no feel free to to you know stick around here and yeah if there's any questions uh from anyone uh let's uh yeah please please bring them up here and um just kind of how this can work yeah sure i'll, I'll leave it to you guys again and um yeah thank you for inviting me in yeah absolutely absolutely so um yeah and for sous chef there um yeah, just like uh, cur- uh, su- since Sushi itself did not engage with CBR for this search, curious to what extent their service was actually provided. Would the candidates be willing to cover that expense themselves if it became an issue with, uh, for versus their or for their candidacy? I mean, that's to be fair. Like most of the in the headhunting world, most of the time it comes from the client that pays the service fee. Um, You know, we wouldn't expect, especially at a CAO level role, for the candidates to remunerate us because our job is to find the perfect fit to solve problems for the client. You know, I'm not saying that other people haven't been open to this kind of a proposal before, but I definitely don't think it's necessarily right for Jared or anyone that's applying for the head candidate, uh, for the head chef role, to take a lower cut because they've come through us, which is we we are a service that ultimately provides the best people and hopefully that's clear but you know i can't speak on behalf of the candidates but i personally i've never gone that route um to charge the candidates for working with us you know it will be open to them if that's something that they want to consider but i I certainly wouldn't i've never done it that way um you know we we tend to look at how we can solve a problem and the problem tends to be that they need a new person within a company and if that person is at a high level then they expect then rightly so they expect to be remunerated in the right way for it so um yeah that's that's what that's what my opinion is on on the subject is anyway um you know head chef and ceo is going to be an extremely difficult and challenging role and we we believe they should be remunerated in the right way for it um so i certainly wouldn't want to take away from them but you know, whatever, like I say, this is a new process for everyone, realistically, because the, the DAO governance and the way that the, com- uh, you know, the whole community works, which is which is amazing, by the way, like, I'm not taking away from it, it is completely different to any other process that mm-hmm. most people will have been through. So. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got a few questions coming in here from the AMA uh, text channel. Um, yeah, because we could go through some of that here, Jamzy. It works with you. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Um, Nick Junior asking. Uh, yeah, just he, he, you know, doesn't feel like the fee makes sense. As we didn't know that this was, uh, you know, wasn't provided. As it wasn't like a something ahead of time that was discussed with the Dow. Um. Yeah, because did you discuss the contract with the DAO before the search began? Um, I mean, in you know this, Neil, already we, we reached out in the forum and me, you and Tangle hopped on a call and kind of explained our process. And I think in the forum, um, there was someone that said, you know, show your bags wherever you want. And that was the term they used, not us. 
Um, and we reached out and we said, hey, we've got some great people. We work with Coin Bureau and we're part of the subsidiary that can, you know, CB Recruitment, which is a separate entity that can help to find great talent. Um, you know, we're servicing companies like FTX, etc. So we believe that we can help bring the right people to light. Um, and we came to you guys and said, you know, can we submit? And ultimately did. Maybe we should have involved ourselves a little bit earlier in the process. But, you know, it's a, a little bit of a learning curve for everyone, I think, when this is, you know, a head chef role that's being appointed. So absolutely, I think we would have loved to have been introduced earlier in the process. But, you know, as much as I'd love to say otherwise, that's where we are at the moment. Um, you know, and it might be a case that, like I say, we're not monsters. We're open to talking about the percentage and moving things around. We, we want what's best for sushi at the end of the day. Um, if no candidate that we represent gets the role, then there's no benefit. We, we don't, we want Jared effectively to be happy and, you know, he's applying as a fantastic candidate. I don't want this, I don't want this conversation to take away from his candidacy and how fantastic he is as a candidate at all. And that's what I just want to emphasize is that it ultimately is at the end of the day, what's right for sushi. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's like what we you know, obviously want to want to focus on is that, yeah, we just want the best candidate here and then, uh, you know, figure all this stuff out afterwards, um, you know, and what this needs to be, but yeah, like obviously very, uh, yeah, very happy that, uh, you, you were able to bring Jared and Paul, um, you know, to the, uh, yeah, to the table here for, uh, yeah, for, uh, for their, with their candidacy here. So, um, let's see what else have we got here. It was, uh, makes sense in the future to have a referral fee that anyone can collect by bringing a candidate that gets hired. If we wanted to incentivize that, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could do, uh, that's something that we could look at. Obviously we should probably push that through governance ahead of time before, uh, trying to do this retroactively. Um, and it just needs to be, uh, need to be careful with that one too on on who is eligible for that just because you know perhaps having you know if it's um you know people that are contributing already to sushi maybe that could get messy if it's you know turns into kind of a favoritism idea Nepo. yeah, yeah nepotism. nepotism so just something to be i guess a little bit mindful of uh, i mean we could kind of look through look at that and think through it a bit more but um yeah that's just kind of the the first thoughts here but um yeah nothing's off the table if anyone does want to ask any difficult questions i want to make sure that everyone's happy i don't want you know at the end of the day that's why I'm, i've jumped on because i want to address any concern mm -hmm. and we're not well, trying to hide anything or anything like that so in in the event that this does become like a pretty hard point of contention um could it be like a compromise that we can do to kind of like I guess rounded off in both directions, like say 15% salary and then 15% off the top, like split that 30% in some way or something like that. Uh, the guys were also yeah. saying they'd be willing to drop severance too. And so there are other things. Yeah. That are At the end of the day, like I say, the candidacy is the most important part. There's absolutely conversations that can be had around whether we split the cash flow. So, for example, not all of it's paid up front and part of it's paid for our fee once Jared or whoever it is that is appointed completes a certain period of time. Um, you know, I want, like I said, I want to be as open as I possibly can. I just want to make sure that you guys have the ability because this is a DAO at the end of the day, you know, and I want everyone to have their say. That's part of what the community is about. So, um, yeah, there's absolutely room to talk and negotiate. I don't want to come across as this hard, hard embargo where we are. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Yeah, cool. Well, and yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, just a, a bit more discussion in the, uh, in the forums around this. Like, obviously we've got some stuff coming in here through the AMA text questions, but I would really appreciate it if anybody could bring other, uh, other thoughts and opinions over to that, uh, over to the forum, just to keep that kind of, uh, all collectively together there. But, uh, yeah, you know, obviously, um, yeah, just, uh, you know, yeah, want, want to hear everybody's opinions and, and where we're at with this. Um, yeah, Jared, I think you, you know, you've got something. I was just going to say that I think this is a great example of some of the um, challenges that the traditional corporate world and, and the uh, melding of 
Dal's face, will face, and that successfully kind of navigating this is going to be uh, a net positive, whether or not you choose Paul or myself or, or Ken or another candidate. Um, these are examples of discussions that are only going to serve as examples of even more difficult um obstacles to overcome so i think like this is a net positive regardless uh yeah that's all i really wanted to say and, and i did offer the um initially i did offer the seven severance package back to the mm -hmm. treasury um you know that's not something that i need it wasn't done as uh, a way to offset like originally to offset the the finder's fee from cbr it was just done because um, I think that money can be better spent elsewhere. And, you know, I've been in crypto a long time and a, and a professional for, you know, an executive for going on 18 years now. Um, I'm operating from a place where those funds, I think, are better used for Sushi's purposes and, and, and not my own um, gain. Absolutely. I, I want to be really clear that me and Paul, I mean, any of the candidates didn't talk about Hannah Leppard. That was all Jared talking on his own behalf about what he would be happy to do you know there's nothing that came up from a conversation between any of the candidates that sparked that that is literally jared being a fantastic person and you know looking at the what's best for sushi and how it can be built yeah awesome no and that's uh, that's really uh that's great to hear jared i uh, really appreciate that and yeah i i'm glad to hear you have the you know the interests of uh Interest of the Dow here with this sort of thing. So, cool. Um, I don't know. Anybody else have? Uh, yeah, if you've got questions or concerns, yeah, please. Uh, you know, bring it to the forum. Uh, feel free to add to the uh, CBR and Hit Chef introduction. So far, it's uh, that's kind of the that's the proposal. Now we can kind of uh, collect all of the uh, any further comments, questions, concerns in there. Uh, that's under general discussion. So just make sure that you're, if you're looking for it, it's under general discussion. And uh, yeah, well, it's been uh, great to have uh, Jamzy on here as well. And Jared to kind of uh, follow up with uh, some extra color. But yeah, if, uh, yeah, what, um, I don't know if there's anybody else, appreciate any it. any last yeah, thought, questions, it. comments it. before we move on here. But yeah, no, I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. Several people are typing. Oh, several people are typing. I think there's a massive positive net. Not or not for space. Uh yeah, yeah, again. Sushi guard. Sushi guard goes live soon. Oh hey. something to keep in mind. Yes. Uh Otto von Bismarck. I think this is a massive positive, not just for us, but space. Just use competitive. Yeah, you know, and, and this is the other thing too is yeah, building, you know, kind of relationships and uh, you know, what this can do for the future. That may be uh yeah, really uh, and kind of as Jamzy had mentioned out earlier on here is just like how web3 is one of the most understaffed uh industries, you know, and finding people who are, you know, either versed or niche versed in this niche area. Um it can be tricky. It can be tricky. So, I mean, I look in my uh, circle of uh, even just in like you know, think about your circle of friends and whatnot. Like I, I don't know where you know friends and family that you have, but I mean I don't have a lot of crypto native people. You know I've been trying to pill them for years, but you know we just don't have a whole lot of like yeah a lot of people in it. So uh, it, it, I mean, it's, I it's, I'm the guy in the corner at the party that stroking the dog you know the, the crypto dog preferably preferably <laughs> yeah. like, uh, like is anyone else interested in nfts no okay i'll i'll just go home like that's that's where we are at the moment and you know realistically the candidate market hasn't caught up the normal market hasn't caught up to the general needs of the it engineering sector let alone mm -hmm. the crypto sector and um you know part of my job is to be as well connected as is possible within web3 and that involves leveraging all the connections that we've made through Coin Bureau and through CBR and, you know, speaking to major different companies and getting the best people to ultimately put in front of people. And, and, and I hope that everyone can see, you know, a, a net positive from this conversation about me and CBR and what we do. 
and that we are ultimately a service that helps to bring to light the best people in the world for the best companies. Um, and that's all we're trying to do. In fact, if you if you want to check out, um, we did an event in May on uh, for Coin Bureau and Guy um, from the channel actually introduced us. So you can go on to the Coin Bureau channel. Um, uh, it might be on the other Coin Bureau channel, but there's two different channels. I'll link it in one of the forums if people are interested to look at it. And you know, Guy introducing CV recruitment to the world, the Coin Bureau recruitment to the world, and explaining in his own words why you know, the crypto industry is so unbelievably understaffed and how we want to bring more people into the space. Mm -hmm. um, so absolutely happy to link that in the forums as well. Yeah, awesome. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, what else have we got here from... Yeah. Okay. No, uh, if anybody else has questions, comments, please, yeah, bring it into the forum topic. Uh, we can go from there. And yeah, yeah, no, this is, uh, this has been great to have you guys on here today. And thank you for taking the time. And Jared, I'm sorry I've taken some time away from you here. I know that that's important and um, I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Tony. I just want to say, hey, uh, Jay, you're not taking it. This isn't my AMA. <laughs> <laughs> I just pinged you because I wanted you to jump on and explain CBR's position so that you didn't have to yeah. only voice on the on the forum. That's it. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm more, more than happy to jump on further AMAs if people have longer thread questions yeah. or anything they want to ask. Like, it's, it's always better to, to talk and communicate. Web3 is about community, and that's what we're here for. So That's right. That's right. Yeah, it was actually more uh, for you, Jamzy, to be very honest. Actually, I was glad that uh, you did come on here today. So, uh, Apologies, I didn't come on soon. I, when oh. Jared messaged me, I was picking up my little boy from nursery. So uh, All good. I'm sure everyone can understand why I wasn't immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, thank you. Appreciate it for coming on. And uh, any final thoughts about the merge? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will withhold my opinion until uh, until I've seen a couple of days worth of things. I uh, I am a little bit biased because I do hold a, a bit of ETH, so uh, I don't think I'm the best person to uh, to comment on it right now. But yeah. overall, you know, net positive, and uh, I can't say that I'm not biased in this in this conversation. If I'm honest with you, oh, yeah, yeah. But as far as uh, yeah, obviously we we're all excited about it I, I i believe all we're all excited but has anybody claimed any proof of work eth or have they have actually like gone to find it anybody a friend oh, man is is that fork even like is it operational well, yet a friend sent over an rpc that was supposed to uh, like connect to the you know eth eth w oh, and, oh. pow dump club <laughs> 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 Oh, so wrong. You're terrible. I think I saw a topic. I think I saw a topic where someone had um, created an NFT of the last proof of work um, block and admitted that. So that's something that I did see. Uh, oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. History treasure. <laughs> it's, it's... I, I think it was vanity blocks. I'm, I'm. By the way, I'm not associated with them in any way, shape, or form. So this is not a, a show. I just read it on Decrypt. I think it was. Um, that 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 come out. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well. Um, yeah. Sounds like everyone's uh, you know still uh, still believing in the proof of stake thing. But uh, actually, what's ETH Classic doing today? Did it move? It, last night it was like moving. But what's it doing today? I'm more interested in Luna Classic. No, oh, wants to sir. <laughs> Yeah, oh, ETH Classic, it's, yeah, kind of here. But, yeah, anyways, it's, uh, I, I'm, yeah, the hash power, obviously, got to go there. Or uh, oh, awesome. or start start drafting up those uh, Craigslists and eBay and uh, Amazon offers, I guess, for your uh, GPUs. <laughs> I'm looking for a new 3080 on my gaming PC if anyone wants to uh, hit me up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yep. 3080s. Yeah, we were talking about that uh just kind of before we before we got started about the uh or I guess as we were getting started. Yeah. 3080s. Let's go. So 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, my wife has a 3070 in her computer, and I'm very jealous. So uh, I need to outdo. Yeah. yeah. Get on it, man. They're on. They're going to be on sale. Fire sale. We're having a fire <laughs> sale. Oh man, I don't know. Anybody know that? Uh, let's see if I can get the. I'll find that meme or GIF or whatever it is. But um, while we're chilling here, or I guess yeah, um, uh, any updates here? It's wrong. You want to come up and give any? I don't know if you've got any updates or anything you want to kind of share with us. If you want to that or Peg or Truda or anybody here that wants to just kind of give any any little updates here. Hello, friend. Hello, Sarong. Yo, 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 can you guys hear me? We got you. Yes, sir. Oh, awesome. Yeah, happy March, everyone. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, we are really close in getting the internal testing of our uh, multi chain UI. And the uh, stable pool came out of the second audit. It doesn't have any bugs. So we will be uh, integrating that after we launch the multi chain UI on the Trident uh, compatible networks. Uh, so, yeah. These are like key updates from the engineering side. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I know we're uh, yeah all excited here with uh, with new things rolling out. So this is great, and yeah. I don't know if anybody else has uh, any, any further things we want to comment on. I know next week we're going to be into a, a real good conversation, so we're going to have a lot more to discuss at the forum, but. Um. Yeah, I don't know anything else, Zap, that you want to bring up from your end. Yeah, there are a few uh, community things to address. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that the sushi's second birthday, uh, Dolly Art competition. A few people threw some things in, and like the plan that uh we originally had was to airdrop some NFTs to some of our power users. You know, most people who lend the most or trade the most, whatever. Um, but uh. I kind of compiled all of them into this form post here, and I'd like to see people vote and tell me what they like so we can uh, use those images accordingly for these NFT drops. Nice. They're, they're due to come out today, but um, I'm just going to push it back a little bit and give a couple more days for, you know, voting to go in and so we can set it up and all that. Perfect. So Perfect. please check that out. Get over there. Get the, uh, yeah, there's the... Uh... Yeah, the forum post thing there. So sushi second birthday, Dali art. Which do you like the most? Outside of that, um, I just also wanted to address. I saw another person um, put up a nomination for himself as head chef, and I I think it's probably past the deadline. Yeah, I'm like mm -hmm. it's been a few months now, and uh, I don't know. I don't think we can keep letting people slipping in here. So I just wanted to like also point that out. Yeah, I suppose. Yep. Um. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to fully go through uh, all of uh, all of their stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean, we've kind of had this process and kind of had a, a timeline for all of it, so we need to stick to some flexibility. Otherwise, it is just gonna, or sorry, some uh, structure as uh, otherwise being too flexible is just gonna keep this thing going on forever. And yeah, I think we're in a really great place right now. And yeah, just, uh, we've had some great, uh, interaction and feedback from, uh, you know, the community and the head chefs. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. This has been a, a very interesting process. And I think for a lot of other people too, to looking at it from the outside and, you know, maybe this is like the kind of their first time around where they're seeing like, you know, this, uh, this sort of a process, but, uh, I don't know. That's, what's the beauty of, uh, of DAOs and web three and all this is, you know, this new kind of emerging way of doing things and, uh, you know, refining it to make it like a, a really cool and interesting process, you know, it may not be the, you know, the shiniest right now, but, uh, over time. Discovering governance. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. That's, a, that's a very good term. That's a very good term. Rediscovering governance. Really like that zap. Well done. Can someone meme that for zap? <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah um i don't know anybody else have uh comments questions concerns here about things anything further zap too i should before i um 
I if there was it it would be escaping my head now. I, I couldn't I can't think of it. Um No, uh, major restoration probably wait until mm -hmm. after we're done with all this head stuff, head chef stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that uh yeah, that can uh happen after that and then uh, I should have uh we're going to have a proposal up here soon uh just in regards to um yeah, multi-sig and stuff like that. So that should be, I'm hoping today or tomorrow to have that dialed in. Um, yeah. So. Well, um, while I've got you guys here, um, I happen to have a meeting with someone from Adam Dow um, earlier. Again, not affiliated, but I saw some synergies there. I think he's in Furo at the moment. Or Furo. Um, oh, yeah. For some of the, the treasury management. Um, but there were some cool tools within Adam Dow. I'm happy to make an intro to Founder. Um, or you guys can go and check them out. Um, but I thought there might be some great synergies there where you can effectively um, kind of, what's the best way to describe it, is you can split the treasury in the right way, you can allocate to different parts of the business as you continue to grow. You know, obviously this is, again, not my my point to say, and ultimately it's left to the Dow, but, you know, I saw some stuff there that I think could be useful. And it looks like a... Um, a mix between Gnosis and sort of Furo. Um, if anyone's interested in taking a look, or I'm happy to introduce people to a founder um, to see if it is useful at all. It may be, it may not be, yeah, but yeah. we'll see. Either way, um, you know, with any of this kind of uh, relation in BD stuff, it would be great if uh, if you can throw uh, Sue Chef here, Alex, and uh, Truda into a uh, into a group, or just reach out to them directly. They're kind of the uh, the BD side of things. If you can connect with them and then we can kind of go from there but i think that would be a, a great first start there jamsy thank you yeah sure i'll uh, i'll make sure to connect thanks guys thank you thank you all right um yeah probably a great place to wrap it up here for this week um yeah of course next week we're gonna have uh all the candidates on here and kind of have a uh Oh, I guess it'd be kind of like a debate sort of thing here. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see uh, how this is all going to play out here. Um, you know, we'll have uh, some questions and we'll try to have this as uh, structured as best as we can here. As, you know, having five candidates on is going to be, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot, but uh, we'll try and keep it... Uh, moderated yeah to a good degree <laughs> yeah moderated to a, a good degree and try and keep things uh you know engaging and active for everyone too just so that it's not uh you know uh, who knows like these things do turn into being um you know uh, like here at 42 minutes this is uh like kind of a pretty chill forum where uh you know oftentimes we do end up at that uh we can end up at that, uh, you know, hour 30 or two hour moment uh, in that mark, but we'll, we'll try and keep things a little bit tighter so we can keep things, uh, engaged and, uh, and active and, um, and informative so that, uh, we don't have people nodding off on us or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we don't want people exhausted too, as they're listening through all of this, but yeah, uh, that's the plan for next week. So, uh, yeah, please come on out and, uh, and uh, I expect in-depth campaigns <laughs> with all the candidates. And I approve this message. Uh, thank you, Nick Jr., for that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. If, uh, if you've been chilling here for 15 minutes or more, you will be eligible for a PO app. The PO app is not yet minted. Uh, I was trying last night. I was trying again this morning. Something going on on the PO app side. Uh, unable to mint new PO apps at this time. But uh, the DGN bot has been recording. And I'm hoping that next week we'll be able to have a new feature using Guild. Fingers crossed that it's all ready to go by then. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure that you are connected with Guild through Sushi. More things to come with that. Uh, really excited to test out the, the PO app feature that they have with it for delivery. And yeah, hopefully it's uh, it's seamless and we'll kind of do like a test project or, you know, a test uh, run with that next week. And hopefully it's all good, though. Um, yeah, and of course, this has been recorded and will be up on up on YouTube and yeah zap what do you want to say about you that you better like and subscribe right now <laughs> if you're watching
afterwards. Um, yeah, besides that, uh, feel free to go to samurais.io if you'd like to check out the knowledge base or the blog. Um, there's even a few other bells and whistles there you can check out. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, that ties it up for the day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. And we will chat with you next week. Thanks for having me, guys. Lovely to meet everyone. Likewise. Thank you. Bye-bye.